people this is going to be a video on commands for ender I'm making it only 14 minutes because that's all it really needs it won't even need that let's get down to the basics here's a new one I've just recently covered if you click uh, press down the alt key and click on something it'll highlight it green anybody around is looking I don't know if it's only me but I have the ability of pointing out shit to people by making it flash green I'm sure everybody else can do this too so you hold the alt button and you click on it with the mouse it doesn't matter which mouse button they both do the same then there's control N for night and day control K hides closest things to you I've noticed right over there on the side I don't get it then there is control G for the grid control H to hide stuff I highly recommend it to people who are annoyed by the brushes if you don't if you still want everything on you want to turn off the brushes so you can so you can uh, do normal things without seeing these annoying little gr uh, grass weeds because here's the funny thing about them they do actually disrupt your ability to hit things because they're considered an object even though they're not an object so, uh, I had a hard time clicking on a fox in one of my videos to shoot it because of the, there was a stupid thing in the way of it and I wasn't able to shoot it but here's the thing these ones for some reason will not disappear which doesn't make sense and that's the basics pretty much if I'm missing any other commands people please leave in the comments what they are because there's the control H command the night fishing command or if you want to see the uh, have the dark again then the, there's this control K command then there's the alt click command I mean not alt yeah alt click it doesn't matter which mouse button you use they both do the same thing and it gives you some random number readout but that's not uh, like that might have an importance but to me what's important is it makes the object flash green so if you want to point something out to a party member hey look there's a person over here or there's a object over there I want you to check out or grab you can tell somebody oh look there's a chicken kill it and also I'm gonna go a little further than the ender client I'm going to also show you how to get it. I'm sure everybody that's played Haven and Earth knows how to get the damn clients, but if you don't, I'll give you the link to the part of the forum where you can actually get it. It's in the Wizard's Tower. Simply, derp right up here. Ender clients. Then you want to go to the proper page, which is right here and you want to download this and this if you're using a 64-bit operating system I have to be honest I think everybody is doing that if not you want to download this these two I don't even give a care about the skin I have never downloaded it but then here's another issue if you guys are having problems I don't have the link on hand, but if you're having problems with it, you need to look for Java uh, version 6, update 29. It will not replace any of your current update, uh, updates of Java, but it's required to have that installed for Ender to work. I found that out uh, this recently. All my friends were complaining, and we went through the list of Java programs it was running, and we tried that update out, and it worked. So I recommend you to download that. And this has been pretty much 40 minutes. I mean, four, not 40 minutes, four minutes. I think I'll probably be stopping here in a minute because I don't really have a whole lot to explain. I pretty much explained the basics. If I'm too fast for you people, sorry. I just like doing things quick, but I'll do it one more time on the basic commands. Control N, night fishing. Control K, makes the, thing, uh, like, makes the object slightly off your screen disappear. Control H hides items. Oh, 
actually never mind there is some more things I can show you like the radar system like you see how I can see that flower on the minimap and it's highlighted over here somewhere see there's a radar option now available on this version of Ender you click on this tab right here you select what you want to show I personally love showing all these three is there like seeing where clay is popping up like by the rivers and stuff like that especially when I just got done building a ceramic meat grinder nope I raided caves to get the materials I needed and you want things showing on the minimap but you, here's the thing also you can go through and customize it so like if you don't want stupid ink root uh, inkweed to show up as I think it looks like sh and it's useless so I turned that off or for some people you might not like fissiles on your radar you can turn that off too or some reason you don't like blueberries anymore oh, I don't like that thing because it's never been useful to me so I'm gonna turn that off now, I shouldn't see any of those on the map and there's clay which I recommend leaving it on but sometimes it's hard to notice these things and also there's some more like to turn on the radar itself you toggle radar and you want to have show animals of course but here's the cool thing about the radar as well and I'm gonna go ahead and explore around a bit I might not be able to find an animal but to show you proof of what the radar does there's my neighbor in his two walls of course all right now I'm showing you guys a uh, damn leg uh, I hate it when it legs I'm surprised he hasn't contacted me yet he's from Poland I'm from the United States and I have a couple other friends that play with me which you can see by the hearth fires in my place when I warp back see right there there's rust root there's an anthill there's wild weed used to turn into seeds when you're a noob there's some slip thistle over there control H is the best thing to have on when you're hunting but here's something else because you still want to see these damn things you want to check that uh, you want this on to show hide it'll show you the boxes at least of where those items are so you don't do this because you don't see anything because you'll still be running it and you'll wonder why there's something there because you can't walk through the shit even though you have it hidden so there now you know how most people in those videos and stuff like that are hunt or people are hunting are able to navigate around so easily and kill shit it's because they use this command control H and then they also you uh, supplement it with that and there's a shortcut to study I personally like to have this on because it like makes the the plants only one single little like stem for your farm so you don't have to like like navigate through all a big maze of what I call a clutter a clusterfuck in other words because it literally like some uh, some uh, plants grow so damn big it's hard to see your way through them when you're harvesting them or Oh, my friend Spencer's on. I'm actually going to start making videos again. I've already made five. The reason why it's been so damn long, I wanted to build my palisade. That's the reason why I haven't been making videos in a while, and we had a scare. One of my friends were, was murdered, but this is supposed to be a notorial about Ender. I guess I'm not going to find an animal. I was hoping to find one. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and pause it. When I find an animal, I'll show you guys. I'm going to go ahead and continue a little bit at this part, but just letting you people know you're going to see this on the bottom of the screen because this is a tutorial video. It's not really I give a shit about the, like, oh, you should have edited the video. Then why is that there kind of thing. I'm just showing you the other things you can find along the coastline by using this. See right there, oysters are on the radar. And it's most likely running along here, I'll be able to find animals. Note deers, bears, and boars both all show on the radar. But the bear one is kind of a confusing icon. To me, it looks more like a dog or something else, but there's you can pretty much tell it's a bear. But at the same time, I'm going to try to find one to show you guys. I want to actually go hunting and if I can find something I might actually kill it but no nope, that won't be done in this video I just want to see if I can find anything along the river it's usually that's the place I've always encountered animals 
Now I'm going to probably pause the video here again in a minute because I haven't seen anything yet. And I'm just showing you the basics around the river. Of what you can find. And I don't know why fish nodes haven't been added to it. You know, they have a lot of things that can add to their so called radar. I don't know if it's that easy or not, but I'm not the uh, I'm not the Ender guy at Made Ender, so and I'm going to go ahead and pause it again until I run across an animal. There we go, people. A boar. That's the boar's icon over there. There's a boar at the other side of the river down there. I'm going to go around and see what else I can find by the river. But we there's another boar. See, a boar. And note, a warning to people from the previous versions, including new people, that ring is not accurate of the aggro range of the bear. Where I'm sitting is the new range. It can go out this far. Uh, I mean, the boar and bear's aggro range now go out this far. So I'm just letting you guys know now ahead of time. So don't use that ring as a reliable source. So just use the map to tell you there's animals nearby. If you don't want to encounter one of those guys on land, I recommend having the radar on. There's the boar. That's pretty much uh, like it. I just wanted to show you for a fact the hostile animals are on on there. The deer are also as well, and it shows a ring around them. No, now no, it's a lighter blue ring. But that I also think if any other deer with are within that ring, when you shoot at them, then you will get kind of like attacked by all of them. But don't take my word for it. It's best not to shoot at a hurt a group of hurting animals. You might get aggro of every last one of them. Most likely you will, and they'll rape your ass. That's it for this video. It's been 12 minutes long. I'm going to probably make another one here a little bit later because I haven't been putting up videos lately. It's been like a week and like almost two weeks. I think. It's been a week. So that's all I have to show you guys on this, and enjoy. And I hope these tips have helped you out on the damn game. And I'm going to also show you some other videos in the post with this one. I don't know which ones you'll click on first, but they all are useful tips, and they've helped me out, and they probably help you out too. This is Rad Kid, and I'm also known by the forum as Chippy Kid. Everybody hates me, but sorry for my spelling and grammar issues it's always been my worst suit so I'm not gonna be posting that much often because you guys think I'm a troll so I'm just gonna give you guys do you guys a favor there so I'm just gonna show you stuff I think it's relevant at the time